many ocean predators such as large tunas, sharks, and marlin are threatened, largely due to overexploitation in fisheries. However, solving fisheries problems is complex in the ocean. The fisheries problems are some of the most challenging in the world because they integrate physics and biology and chemistry and human use together in one complex milieu. Both bull sharks and tarpon are big predators here in, in South Florida in our coastal habitats and we know very little about them. And it took me a little while to realize this, that a fish that literally is bigger than I am is prey for something else. And so while the tarpon are migrating along and finding out their prey, the sharks have figured out when the tarpon will arrive. And they love tarpon, you know, as a snack. So we put satellite tags in both tarpon and bull sharks to track their movements and spy on their, their secret lives, see what they're doing and where they're going and potentially how they interact with one another. As the shark or the tarpon moves, whenever this tag comes to the surface and the antenna breaks the surface, it, it provides uh, the position of the shark. The red dots in this image are where the satellite tags recorded the bull sharks to be. Using data from both bull shark and tarpon tags, the predator-prey interactions emerge. The colored contours in this image indicate areas of shark density, ranging from high density in red and orange to low density in blue and purple. The pink circles show the tarpon locations and the size of the circles indicate how fast the tarpons were moving. Small circles meaning slow, and large circles meaning fast. The figure shows that tarpon mainly occupied shallow coastal areas where they generally moved slowly, indicative of feeding. Whereas tarpon avoided open areas where bull shark density was highest. When moving over areas of high shark density, the tarpon rate of movement was highest to avoid being eaten. The trophic cascade is where when you remove one member of the food web, there's this domino effect that can impact other members or other animals in that food web. Our results suggest that tarpon actually may be forfeiting some of the best feeding spots to avoid becoming food themselves to bull sharks. Both bull sharks and tarpon are coastal inshore species, making them particularly vulnerable to human threats like fishing or pollution. And if there's any substantial negative impact on these animals, that may trigger trophic cascades that may ultimately impact other members of the community and even the habitat itself.